We have been using the training curriculum for the last two years. Going on our third year, we just started our third group of apprentices. Those apprentices that have been through it in the last three years are passing their residential exams left and right. The previous institution that we were a part of, we found that we just couldn't get them to pass the exam at the end. The curriculum was just not code-based related. So we moved to my Colt two years ago, and in our first group, so they had three years of the previous institution, one with my Colt, we went from 22% pass rate to a 65% pass rate. This next group that, that graduated in June, we're at 75% pass rate, and it's only been 90 days since they've uh, finished school. So I have really high hopes for this last group that'll have all four years in the curriculum that will have something like a 90 or a 95 percent pass rate. The catch-all feel of level one has probably had the biggest impact on the students that that I have had through my classroom. So some of my best students don't always have the best upbringing. Some of them have gotten their GEDs, some of them have gotten their GEDs while in prison or in juvie. Um, and the way that this curriculum is set up to build confidence has really affected their ability to say, I can pass this test when I'm done. And I just recently had an individual, he went through the curriculum, graduated this June. I think he has his GED. He had a 99.8% in my class, though the four years I think average. There's a lot of legwork that's done for me. <laughs> because I work full time and I teach full time, I don't always have a lot of extra time to prep because on top of teaching our apprentices, I'm also doing all the education pieces for um, scheduling for our continuing ed, as well as working in middle schools and high schools and trying to recruit kids to get into the trades. So this has worked out really well to be able to get all of the material, it's all laid out for me. I just, it, I can show up and teach because it's right there for me to go for. I have only taught my cult curriculum, but I went through a, a different curriculum when I went through my apprenticeship program, and it is night and day. When I went through my apprenticeship program, um, it was up to the instructor if we opened our code book at all. And on the very first day, I'm having my students tab their code books, even though they're in the basic electrical theory before they get into the NEC. We're, the NEC is on the desk, tabbed, ready to go um, from day one, as opposed to maybe your instructor had you open it in level four. There's something that can't be measured, and it is intention, and it is caring about the people that it's affecting. You can't measure that, but you can feel it while you're here. And I know that means a lot to me. I know it means a lot to my students. I've had students come up to me and tell me, like, hey, you're the first uh, instructor, you're the first teacher in my life who's ever believed in me, but I, I can't be the only person that believes in the whole system. Everything in my cult curriculum is designed specifically with that intention in mind, is caring for the person who may not have otherwise had the opportunity.